Hey everybody, this is going to be my response to Tobias's open tag about your uh, favorite knives of 2023 so far. And a really hard one for me to do, I'm sure it's hard for everybody. But um, the other day I had to leave, and I, so I, I wanted to put up some of my knives, so I quickly got, you know, the best knives, my favorite knives, and threw them in a bag. And I figured I'd, I'd, I'd just show those, those, that's, those are pretty good. They're all, they're all from this year. And uh, let's start off with this, my first one is the... The Buck 110 Anniversary Edition that my nephew got me. This is a really special knife to me. And it's cut the crap out of me the first time I, I got it. <laughs> All right, this one's really cool. This is the one uh, knife that I, I, I won, or the MBEDC won and gave to me from North Star Knife Reviews video. The sheath was made by Geo Ventures. And then North Star made that badass handled mahogany and caribou antler. Really cool. So this is definitely one of my top favorite knives. And then I probably should close this so I don't cut myself. <laughs> it's sharp. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This one's. This is definitely one of my top favorite. This is my Dicrolam or Dicrolam Trapper Mini Trapper. And the sheath was also made by Geo Ventures. So. This is, this is a beautiful knife. I love this a lot. All right. And then... Oh yeah, this one, this one's really cool. This is one of the Queen Warren Cliff blades. Super strong pull on that one. That's awesome. This was a gift from Jersey Knife Guy. So this way it was important to me. But really beautiful. Nice and dark. I like the... I like the darkness on that one. Uh, what else is in there? All right, this one was cool. This is one of my the first contests I won on YouTube, and this is a second place contest, but still, this is from Gary of the Last Ranger, and uh, he is home now or in a new home, but still. Um, but this was this is a really cool knife. It's the Rough Rider Apta, but it has a different blade than the. What the brass one comes with so this is awesome this is one of my favorite uh, sub joints i think and then <clears throat> all right this one the slip was given to me by north star but the knife is was given to me by by zen and this is awesome it's a my car to half congress and it's awesome pull on that one for compared to the other compared to my other ones a model number for you this is a fantastic knife so thank you zen for that one that was awesome and very unexpected but uh actually i'll leave it out so we can look at it <laughs> or not there and then next i'm having this velvet slip this was our arthur wright and son knife <laughs> uh the lamb's foot and uh, just a really good knife. It's a really good work knife. Uh, I was really happy to get this one. And super awesome ball on that. That spring is great. Let's see what else is next? Obviously this one. This is a sheath again made by Geo Ventures. And then this is the knife that was made by Joshua Myers from Forge and Fire. And then I made the, the lanyard and the beads weather from Joe too but just a really awesome knife I love this a lot I'll leave that out so I can see it and then what's next this is definitely one of my favorites so this slip was made by Randy Georgia Adventurer and uh, go check out his Etsy store he does some awesome stuff really cool coffin slips and he made that one to go with my my case strapper a wicked blade. I'll leave that one out. Got a few more. So this is another lamb's foot from Arthur Wright and Son. This is a gift from Warthog, and really a really awesome gift. Can, like check that out. You can see on the ebony wood. I love that. That looks so beautiful. And it has it just as strong, almost as strong a pull as this one, but. It's a really awesome knife.
So thank you to Warthog for that. There's a couple more. <laughs> Who's this one? Oh, this one is, I got this early on. It's uh, Uncle Henry, but it has a, uh, it's Chinese made, but it has custom scales. It's got a little underliner there too. This is awesome. This is an awesome little knife. I love this one. We got that on eBay. And then I'm going to, I included this just because this is probably my, one of my favorite knives to carry now the super tinker and i carry it with a little slip like that so not like a super expensive knife but it was still really cool and then this was my first nice slip joint like nicer than rough rider it was the doctor or the surgeon's knife from rosecraft and just a really nice quality blade you got a nice spear point here and then instead of the spatula you got a warren cliff blade and i really 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 like that one a lot so those are the ones i grabbed Oh wait, no, I got one more. Okay. <laughs> and a slip I made. So this is the Taylor Eyewitness. And this is really cool. This kind of like, to me, sets the standard for slip joints. Uh, like, just the quality, I mean. So I can, I have no problem closing that on my hand. I'm not worried about it closing on my finger at all. Uh, well done knife. You can't fill those pins at all. At all. Even that one, it looks kind of messed up. Just a super quality work knife. Um, you can't go wrong with with any of these, really. But that's it, though. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you stuck the, stuck here this long, and uh, uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment for me. You guys have a good day.